Okay. Bollocks, hold on, sorry. I just knocked it. <laughs> right, you're good. On this video, I'm going to show you how to add music to the system. Make sure you're logged in as your identity or you've got music admin access. If you're on your own login, you'll obviously have a range of carts for yourself, so make sure you're within that area. To add something to the system, and there's various different ways, I'm going to show you firstly how to insert one particular track. If you right click an empty cart, you'll see there's an option for import audio. You want to select the bottom option of import a single audio or transport file. On the Windows Explorer menu, navigate to your particular track that you want. In this case, I'm going to add James Blunt Heart to Heart and double click it. It will ask you to delete the original file. In most cases, you'll press no. This file will then import into the system and will then also scan onto the system, which will depend on how big the track is. Once this has finished scanning, it's perfectly able to play. So all you need to do is drag the cart into one of the players and that will immediately be accessible. Obviously, there's no information actually in that cart at the moment, so you are playing it blind, so to speak. To update more information, right click the cart and do edit cart audio and details using smooth edit, which is the penultimate option. You'll be then brought to a window that looks like this. In the various fields, make sure that the title is there, heart to heart. The artist is there, so in this case, you're looking at typing in James Blunt. And then make sure in the content type you've selected music, the category, which is the decades, so in this case the tens, and the end type, well it's an ends, so you select ends. Don't worry so much about the other tabs, there are lots of other information you can put in, but that's all we really bother about here. In this bottom window, you have got the audio, so you need to what's called top and tail. So using the magnifying glasses on the right hand side, zoom in using the top one, and drag the bar using the left mouse button. You'll see at the beginning there's no silence, so that's perfectly fine, and at the end there is very little silence. To select and get rid of silence, just left click and drag along and then press delete, and that will remove any silence at the beginning and end, obviously depending on the track. Once you've done that, you can then set the intro point. So click somewhere at the beginning of the song and press the space bar to play. When it's finished playing, we want to click, click the intro end button to specify where the lyrics come in. So as soon as the lyrics start or the singer sings, press the intro end. So there I have set the intro point. If there was a bit of an instrumental before the singer, uh, if there was a bit of speech at the beginning before an instrumental, you would also specify where the intro starts with intro start. For instance, Earthquake by Tiny Temper, there is a bit of speech at the beginning before the main intro. Once that speech finishes, you would then press intro start. Similarly at the end, click and press space. And when he finishes singing, you press extra, and that is where the red line will then appear. You can also specify the hook start and end point with the chorus, so it's finding the chorus and pressing hook start at the beginning and hook end when it finishes. So you'll notice there I've specified the intro end, the extra, and the hook in and out. When you're finished, press save, and that will update that file. Please give it a few moments to do so. Once the save button has then greyed out, click the X button, and you will notice now that the file is ready to go. The intro, the outro, and the letter have been set, as well as the H for the hook. And that is how you add stuff to the system, one single file. You can also add multiple files by right clicking, going to import audio and import wizard. Make sure import audio files is ticked and press next and then click the folder icon. Find the folder that you want to use and press OK. That will then import all the tracks in that folder and in the subfolder. You can then untick the songs you don't want. When you're ready, press next and that will start adding the files to the system. 
obviously normally you would let that go through uh, the process. You can also add files to the system as well uh, from CD. All you need to do for that is speak to one member of the exec and they will get the CD into the computer. Then you right click the file, import audio, rip one or more CD tracks and they will appear there and follow a similar process. You can obviously delete songs later on by right clicking and pressing delete cart. You can also export the audio by export audio and then the best one is the top, export to an audio file using the original audio format. And that is how you add music to Myriad.